again out here at the Team O'Neill Rally School. What we want to show you guys is that normal daily driving, we've got a lot of different vehicles out on the road and we've got a lot of different vehicles here today. We've got an all-wheel drive car, a rear-wheel drive car, a front-wheel drive car, an SUV, and we've got one here that still has dynamic stability control and ABS and traction control and everything still equipped. The other ones do not. Um, you've probably heard a lot of the time that all these vehicles are different and you need to be an expert at everything before you can drive something and the fact is okay at the highest levels of racing that's absolutely true but for normal daily driving hey if you come into a corner a little too quick and get into a skid um, if the road starts getting slippery if it starts snowing out all these vehicles are really exactly the same um, so what we're going to show you a little bit is what to do if the car understeers um, you know every vehicle that's been made since the Corvair is inherently going to understeer. So if you're ever driving a little too quickly by accident or on purpose, or it starts snowing or raining and the road gets slippery, when you turn the wheel, the car may not turn. And it's built to do that. You turn the wheel, nothing happens. You're headed for the outside of the road. Any one of these vehicles, what we want you to try is, look where you want to go, keep looking around the corner, come off the throttle, brake gently, turn appropriately and the car is going to go right around. Um, so what we've got here is a 90 degree corner setup, and, and we're going to take each one of these cars out the same speed into it um, and we'll see what happens just driving normally and then we'll try it again kind of our way and hopefully what becomes your way and we'll see how that works out as well. Alright so here we go Subaru Impreza you got your all-wheel drive it's a wonderful thing until you go too fast into a corner and you're going to plow wide and go off the outside and it's going to be a bad day. Same thing coming in though, try it with a little bit of brake on all the way through the first half and you'll negotiate the same turn without any drama. Coming in here, rear wheel drive, BMW, a little too hot, get it turned, ain't gonna happen off the outside, little tail happy, um, and you've crashed. Come in this time though with a little bit of brake on in the early part of the corner and even into the middle of it and you'll make it around there pretty much every single time. Ford, Fiesta, front wheel drive, same thing, too much speed, try to turn, ain't gonna happen, off the outside of the road. And uh, again, if that was a ditch or trees or something, that's gonna be ugly. A little bit of brake on, the first part of the turn and around the apex there though, and uh, yeah, pretty uneventful, pretty smooth, all day long you make that turn. SUV, try to turn, four wheel drive, ain't gonna happen, off the outside edge, just like any other car. Try the same thing though, same speed, even quicker with a little bit of brake on, coming into the turn and around the apex, and uh, there you go. Starting to see some common threads here. ABS, DSC, traction control, too much speed, off the road. Not much you're going to do about it, um, except come in here, looking around the turn, a little bit of brake on through the first part. There you go, right around the corner. All right, so what we saw there, guys, is that basically all of these cars behaved exactly the same way. I was driving too fast, I was on a slippery road, and every one of these cars push wide towards the outside. If you don't do anything about it, it just keeps happening, and that's where you end up. Um, so what we tried is looking around the corner a little better so that our whole hand-eye coordination has a better guess on where we want to go off the throttle, gently on the brakes. You can use either your right foot or your left foot, it really doesn't matter, as long as you can be pretty smooth and sensitive about how much brake you're using. Weight goes under the front, the car turns much better, it'll decelerate slightly, which will help your chances of making it. Um, and really, it's that weight transfer and slight deceleration and optimism with your eyes that gets you around the corner every time. So you saw an all-wheel drive car, um, straight off the road, lift, little bit of brake as you turn, no problem. Same thing in a rear wheel drive car. Same thing in a front wheel drive car. Same thing in an SUV or a pickup truck. The last one down there we used just to show you guys, that vehicle still has dynamic stability control, ABS, traction control, all the electronic nannies. You saw, I go too quick into a corner, you're still gonna crash. None of that stuff is gonna save you. Um, the only thing that's gonna get you around the corner every time is looking where you're gonna go, good driving habits, and um, hopefully you make it where you want to go. So thanks again for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.